Thanks for your great introduction, Jamie. And thank you for organizing this incredible summit and for never shying away from tackling humanity's biggest obstacles with the creativity, vision, and resolve that we all know you have. And I want to recognize all of the esteemed guests who are joining this event, hailing from our universities, human rights organizations, the public health community, and from points all around the globe. If history has shown us one thing, it's shown us that time and again, human beings thrive when we seek out connection and community. Whether as individuals or states, as cities or nations, our long-term success rarely happens in isolation. Instead, it takes collaboration across sectors, across borders, and yet for too long, global interdependence was seen as the purview of academic debates about the role of America in the world or about the power of international institutions and the most effective ways to advance national interests, deliver prosperity or strengthen peace and security. But in truth, there's nothing theoretical about interdependence. It has always been essential to how we solve the great problems of our time. Never has that been more clear than right now with a pandemic that's touched every city and country on this planet, and that demands our collective response, with diseases that may start in one village or town, but spread quickly to our own doorsteps faster than ever before. And then with the economic devastation that reaches into our businesses and workers and households without any regard for municipal boundaries, with poverty and hunger that strike our shared moral conscience and fuel desperation and despair. And perhaps most of all, with a climate emergency forcing us to confront core existential questions of how we will survive and how we will secure a place for everyone in the economy of tomorrow. We can only answer these challenges through collaboration and cooperation, through a common commitment to policies rooted in science, in equity and in justice, and by embracing our interconnectedness and using it to our advantage. It's the only way we will recover from COVID-19 and reimagine and rebuild a stronger future. The only way we can truly tackle climate change if we see our failure and success as tied to one another. If we continue to work as a united force for progress. I'm honored to serve as the chair of C40 Cities, a coalition rooted in that understanding that a network of great global cities has the power to take inclusive, lasting and effective climate action. And we act on that belief every day adopting a global Green New Deal that demands interdependence to succeed, a set of goals and standards meant to keep our promises of environmental justice and sustainability. And we formed a COVID-19 recovery task force that's developed clear, concrete steps to help our cities realize a green and just recovery. And we're leading the charge in our individual cities, whether it's putting electric buses on our roads or expanding public transit so people can get out of their cars whether it's powering our homes and offices with renewable energy, or whether it's creating good paying green jobs and reducing emissions in the frontline communities. We know that by working shoulder to shoulder, that we can see what works and apply it in our own cities. We can exchange our best practices with one another and hold each other accountable for the results that our people demand. That's interdependence at work. That is how we can and we will solve the climate crisis. That's a model for how we as local governments and national leaders, as scientists, economists, activists, everyday citizens and more can address the monumental trials before us. And we have no time to waste, no time to stand pat and argue over who bears the responsibility to save our planet. It's clear, it's all of us. We have no time to tackle COVID today, climate tomorrow, poverty when we get to it, and famine down the road. We have no time to argue over whether these issues are connected or whether it's smart to go it alone. We know what we need to do. We have to act now. We have to act united. And we have to rewrite the rules of our social compact and fulfill the pledges of the Sustainable Development Goals. We have to embrace our global interdependence and remember that we rise or we fall together. And I look forward to working with each and every one of you to answer this moment. Thank you all.